Hi again, welcome back. I am Usika to yet another series for Ramadan special, and today we are going to impress our kids. Uh, maybe few of the kids are fasting for the first time, and uh, this should be one of the recipes that you should definitely try, and it's definitely going to be easy. I promise, uh, with no hassle at all. So let's get started. I have powdered sugar, which is one cup and three fourth cup of regular flour, and to that I'm adding one cup of chocolate powder and pinch of salt along with that i'm using molasses if you can't find molasses you can skip totally adding it it's not going to make a big change to the recipe and about one tablespoon of vanilla essence and i like the brand in trader joe's it's alcohol free and along with that here comes the condensed milk. Make sure it is sweetened condensed milk and one egg yolk. To that, we are going to add about one stick of uh, butter, which is unsalted. That should be around eight uh, tablespoons of unsalted butter. The castor, the powder sugar is one cup and the flour is three fourth cup. And this is totally optional. I'm using chocolate chip cookies, to, uh, chocolate chip, chocolate chips today and if you don't want to add chocolate chip into your brownies you can uh, just totally eliminate this so these are the ingredients and let's get started with making this and i'm not going to uh, have the food uh, process i'm just going to cook uh, this entire thing in a one pot so that's why i said it's an easy recipe and you're going to definitely make this over and over again so in a pot with the handle so it's easy for you to uh, lift it up I'm going to melt the butter make sure the temperature of the stove is like medium low because we want the water molecules to evaporate from the butter so once the water molecules have started to evaporate you see these bubbles and then the the milk molecules will settle down on the bottom and they'll start to become uh, slightly uh, golden brown in color and that's what we're looking for make sure the temperature is not very high this is very crucial to this recipe because we want the caramelized smell of the butter in our uh, brownies so if you can see close it's slightly turning into golden brown and that's exactly where we want and now this is ready for us uh, to add the cocoa powder and whisk in the cocoa powder to make sure there are no lumps uh, in forming in the along with the butter and we're going to allow this to bubble for like five minutes so the chocolate gets nicely uh, slightly get toasted in the butter so that uh, shouldn't take more than five minutes and make sure your flame is not uh, on high it's medium low so once it started to bubble we're going to switch off the flame I'm going to cool this down for five minutes so uh, the temperature uh, is, is coming under control it's not too hot so once it stop, starts to bubble we're going to turn off the flame and leave it for like not more than five to seven minutes so once it is about five to seven minutes I'm adding the entire can of sweetened condensed milk make sure it is sweetened condensed milk uh, that's what is going to make it nice and grim not uh, clean making sure they clean the entire can of the condensed milk not leaving any goodness of it so uh, it's not that it, although we are adding the condensed milk this is not a very sweet uh, brownie uh, believe me so once we have added all of the condensed milk from the can let's mix it all well and remember not to turn the flame on at all we're done cooking now so we're just mixing all of the ingredients one by one make sure to add these ingredients as i am uh, mentioning them so once the condensed milk is mixed very well and like always if you haven't subscribed to sika do like and subscribe to my channel and uh, do press the bell icon for the latest updates and now we are adding the powdered sugar to this and again mix well you might at this point you might see some 
uh, solids forming that's nothing but the butter that is uh, coming together and uh, don't worry about it once it is uh, done baking it's going to be perfectly fine but make sure the sugar uh, powder sugar is completely mixed into uh, this batter since it is since we are making it in one pot there are no many dishes to wash and uh, and I have already set my temperature in the oven for 325 degrees and do not bake for more than 20 minutes on a middle rack because we want a nice gooey uh, brownies or fudge brownies so over baking will make it hard so these are the small uh, steps that you need to keep in mind I just added a pinch of salt and a few dash of uh, vanilla extract I like to use the alcohol free vanilla extract uh, and uh, this is molasses and if you can't find molasses totally skip it or you might add uh, a tablespoon of uh, uh, dark uh, cane, cane sugar or brown sugar the dark brown sugar so otherwise you can just skip adding either one of it the molasses or the brown sugar it's not going to make a big change to the recipe and looks like it's done we'll add one egg yolk at this point and that's why I told you to make sure the flame is turned off because we don't want to cook the egg and the temperature we lowered it for about five to ten minutes before we started off adding all of these ingredients and uh, this step is totally optional I'm adding one cup of chocolate chip which I just dusted with uh, a, a, a pinch of uh, cocoa powder and a pinch of uh, regular flour so we don't have the chocolate chip settling down on the bottom. This is one of the tips that you might try while you're adding uh, any uh, chocolate chip to your, either to your, any of your baked cooks like cookies or brownies or cakes. Just try out this step like adding a bit of uh, cocoa powder or flour. So now I have taken a square pan and I lined it with parchment paper and I trimmed it in the edges of all the four sides so it's easy for me to fix the paper onto the pan. I'm going to pour all of this goodness into the pan and like I already mentioned I have preheated my oven for 325 and it's ready to go into the oven for not more than 20 minutes. Make sure you take a toothpick and check it out. If it's coming sticky not liquidy then it's uh, done. So here is our brownie or fudge brownie that is ready and let me show how uh, it is. Let, allow it to cool. Uh, please allow it to cool before you start cutting because I know it's quite tempting and, and if you can see the layer, the skin that is formed on top of the brownie is because of we added the powder sugar. That's why I mentioned powder sugar and uh, let me show you cutting a piece of it. It's so delicious, rich, and believe me, it's not sweet at all, although we added condensed milk and powdered sugar. So uh, this should be one of the treats that you might want to surprise your kids with because it's a, a, a delicious chocolate fudge brownie. I promise your kids are going to love eating this and you're going to make this over and over again because it's super easy to make and no many pots for us to wash. And like always, if you haven't subscribed to Sika, do like and subscribe. And hope you're enjoying your Ramadan uh, with your family and friends. And thanks for watching Musika. Have a good day. And yes, I have shared a piece of music for you in, in the end for you to enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.